Hi guys, this is Derek here from Pacific Coast Auto and today we're looking at something quite unique and recently we've had a number of pretty unique vehicles because here in Japan you can buy pretty much anything that you want worldwide and our customers want lots of different kinds of cars. Now this one's going to Canada and what's interesting about this car is that number one it's a Jeep which you would think is not a very common car here in Japan but you would be wrong. Japanese people here love their Jeeps and in particular love their Grand Cherokees. Um, so for me this is really weird because uh, <laughs> Jeeps, this is the first one we've ever bought. This is the first time I've ever been this close to one of them uh, and actually inside one. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know almost anything about American cars in general and especially about Jeeps and so pardon me for being a little bit of a doofus here. This is the video that you get to make fun of Derek and his limited knowledge of uh, anything American. And so we're going to go over the auction sheet, over the interior and the exterior as we typically do. I'm going to do my best to not sound like an idiot. Apparently it has a 4.7 liter V8 and it says power tech on it. And that's about all I know about the engine. It says the size of it right here and so you can't even mistake it for anything else. I don't know what kind of engines come in here but if you do know let me know. It's like an obsession to try to learn as much as you can about cars that you don't know about and so this one here is uh, quite fun for me to check out. The mileage is reasonable on it. This one here is in kilometers per hour and is 77,193 automatic transmission and it's a Grand Cherokee Limited. Auction grade is 4 and interior B, so overall it's a very good condition car. It has a sunroof, alloy wheels, power steering, power windows, leather, and airbag. And the leather is surprisingly good because usually good leather is only in super luxury cars. This one's got really nice leather in it. It's original black paint, left hand drive, and that's true. You can drive here in Japan left or right hand drive vehicles. And a lot of them came right from the dealer as left hand drive. In fact, if you go to BMW back in the 90s, you could choose left or right hand drive, whichever one that you liked. And it's kind of interesting, you know, the the right hand drive is kind of less popular than the left hand drive for American or German cars, uh, for some, some of the models at least. Leather seats, keyless, ultra motorsport 17 inch wheels, and I'll show you how ultra those are. Here you go. They actually suit the truck, they're not too big but they're still bigger than your normal ones. They look good. Black car with the black rims. Original wheels and winter coat tires are in the car. The sunroof doesn't work, so don't even try. There's actually a note inside that says, don't touch the sunroof, and it's all sealed because you can see it's a little bit open here. So, don't touch my sunroof. Now the body on it has almost no marks. There are a couple of very, very minor scratches here. The only thing is, is a cloudy headlight and an A3 scratch on the back bumper. Cloudy headlight actually has water in it if you let it rain on the car. You can see the water is still in there. So the other one is cloudy as well, but that's the only one that they said was cloudy. Kind of weird. And then the A3 scratch on the back is actually not that bad right here. Okay. Dropping off a Hilux Surf over there. The driver is looking at me. There he is. Okay, so engine seems to be in good running condition. There are no sounds, no smells, no signs of rust, oil leaks. Everything seems to be in tip-top shape. And you know, it's funny, I used to work in a parts shop. We used to sell an awful lot of parts for um, not this Jeep, the Jeep that came before it, the 4 liter inline 6 was a popular part. So I always thought that they were unreliable. This one seems to be in great shape considering. Pucci day. Hi. He wanted to know where to put that car. Paint seems to be in good condition, so not faded. Looks like it's been waxed regularly. No signs of uh, free paint. Okay, so let's do once around in the car. Show you that nice looking bull bar on the front. I'm a sucker for bull bars on the front. Give that guy room to not crash into me. That would be nice.
Okay, trailer hitch on the back. Roof racks on the top, so that's useful. Now people may think that it's strange buying a car like this in order to send it back to a market that it's more popular in. Like these are pretty common in Canada or in the USA. And part of the reason why you would do that is because number one, the price can be good. But secondly, you could probably find better condition versions of them here than you can outside of the country. Consider this, this vehicle is just a regular car in Canada, but here in Japan, it's kind of something special. And because of that, the people who own them, they typically take better car care of their car than you know, people who buy just your regular bread and butter car. If you drive something like this in Japan, you're kind of in the specialist category. People in that category tend to take better care of their cars. And typically cars that are 15 years old are still in very good condition here in Japan compared to elsewhere. Okay, so inside the car, this is where it surprised me. It feels really nice in here, like much better than I thought. The leather is nice and soft. The switches are actually high quality. <clears throat> it's got heated seats, of course, power windows, power seats, and they all work, so that's good. The transmission is good. The way that you sit in it has a very American feel. It's got a very high dashboard line. The seats are very soft and squishy. I'm bouncing in it right now. Big chunky dials. AC works. Steering wheel has excessive wear on this side. Really, that's the only problem I see with the interior of the car. And a sign up here. Don't mess with my sunroof. Okay, I'm going to show you the back seats here, but they do have a tire in them. Ugh. Something else that's interesting to, to mention, this one here is a Canadian model most likely because the speedometer is in kilometers per hour. But if you find American models, you can import them into the States without them being 25 years old. The only thing is you need to have the NHTSA label in here. So there will be a label here that allows it to go to the States. And if it doesn't have that, then you can't import it. Memory seats here, all power windows work. Nice looking sound system here. Actually, the speakers were on when I came to sat, sit in the car and uh, it sounded really nice compared to what stock sound systems usually sound like. Just getting here. Oh, soft seats. Give you more bass when you get your car. Okay, smells like uh, these. Heated seats, power outlet which is just another cigarette lighter. Yep. Cool. I like it, it's really fun. Uh, cruise control, I guess. Lots of brum brum because it's a V8. No, I like this Jeep. Makes me kind of want one myself. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.